all right, I'm gonna show you two, I'm gonna show you hard proof, I'll put it that way, hard proof that sloppy Steve, old Steven Anderson, is contradicting himself on Tyler Baker's work performance and work ethic. What happened was is that Tyler Baker was a deacon at Anderson's church and then of course he got sideways with Anderson, so Anderson revo revoked his salvation and fired him basically. But here's a clip from his video called Tyler Baker Fired from FWBC, where Anderson says that Tyler Baker that was a bad, unfaithful worker, implying that he knew this was going on, okay? Watch this. And I, you know, I, I tried to to work on him and tried to motivate him and get him to work harder and tried to fix it, chewed him out a few times, you know, trying to get him to work harder. But, you know, his work performance was at about a C minus. And ever since we hired some other people on staff, you know, brother, brother Chris Segura, brother Garrett Kirschway, his work performance has gone from a C minus to an F. I mean, he's, he's basically just hardly doing any work it's frustrating to me, it's frustrating to Garrett, it's frustrating to Brother Segura, you know, because it's like you give him work to do, he doesn't get it done, and and basically, we've all just been saying, well, let's just do it ourselves, because if we give it to him, it doesn't get done. So the fact that he's describing it, the way he's describing it, he's obviously making clear he knew that Baker was a bad, unfaithful worker, okay? But watching this next clip, as Anderson completely contradicts himself on that, where he says, that he did not know. He didn't know, basically, that Tyler Baker was bad. This is a video called Tyler Baker's Timesheets, where he says, I did not know Tyler Baker was bad. Okay, watch this. I'm not sitting here saying, and I've never said, oh, I knew he was bad all along. That would be a weird story, because if I knew he was bad all along, why would I have hired him? Why would I have had him preach? Why would I have sent him all these places? It's because I didn't know he was bad, okay? Uh, so which is it, Sloppy Steve? Did you know Tyler Baker was bad, or did you, did you not know he was bad? Because the way he described it in the first clip sounded like he's just lazy not doing his job, the kind of person you'd fire for just not doing their jobs. But then in the next clip, he's saying, oh, I didn't know he was bad, or whatever. Why did you keep him on? Well, I didn't know he was bad. Um, Sloppy Steve can't just can't stop contradicting himself on these issues. You know, and it's not just a little minor, it's a blaring contradiction. How in one breath, Tyler Baker's a bad, unfaithful employee, then the next breath, oh, I, I didn't know he was bad, that's why I kept him on. Um, sloppy Steve, old Steven Anderson, just can't stop. Just, you know, he'll do a video, and then like a couple weeks or months later, he'll do a video saying the exact opposite of what he said before. Gonna just, just point something out. Luke chapter 12, verse 1, says 11 of the Pharisees is hypocrisy, and Matthew chapter 23, verse 13 to 30, shows that hypocrisy was a characteristic of the Pharisees, and that's Steven Anderson right there. So just wanted to point that out. Uh, it's insanity how much this guy contradicts himself. And I, I'm a former member of his new IFB cult. Uh, it's all it's all over the place. So just wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Anderson's new IFB cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.